What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys every single thing you need to know to improve your hi-hats. Literally everything. I'm gonna be giving you all the secrets, all the gems, all the golden nuggets, all the good stuff on how to take your hi-hats to the next level. After this, you're not gonna to need to watch any other video. So yeah, let's get into it. Ocean gang go drown. All right, first things first, we need some hi-hats. If you want to find some free drum kits, then you can go to freedrumkits.net and download some free samples there. Or you can go to Splice, download some hi-hats from there. Or you can get some fire hi-hats from my new Nomad kit. Link is in the description below. That's what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be picking out a hi-hat from there. And if you're using Logic, there's two ways that you can do it using stock plugins. You can choose Alchemy or Ultra Beat. Personally, I always use Ultra Beat to do with my drums. Alchemy is the easier option and I'll show you how to do that. I've got Alchemy open, so the first thing you wanna do is initialize the preset and then you're gonna to go to A, import audio and you're gonna find your drum kit. So I'm gonna to go to my Nomad kit, open up hi-hats and these are all my hi-hats here. So let's just go for this one for now. Hit sampler, hit import. So now Alchemy has mapped my hi-hats to the keyboard, all in different pitches. So that's the easier way to do it. But personally, I prefer to use Ultra Beat for my drum. I got Ultra Beat open right now. And basically there's loads of different sampler channels. You need to make sure that all of these sample channels have no samples, absolutely no samples in it. You can do it manually and if there was a sample in there, you'd hit unload sample. You could go here, hit playing, and it'll empty all of them out. Now, if you want to use Ultra Beat and you want to use pitch hi-hats, this is how you do it. So basically, remember everything has to be clear. You have to go to the first sample, the top sample right here. My Ultra Beat is completely empty, so now I'm gonna go to the top one. It has to be the top one if you wanna pitch your samples in Ultra Beat. If you go to the top one, make sure nothing is loaded in any of the rest of them. And we're just gonna drag our sample into this part right here. And if I select all of the notes, let's put that to one eighth and play it. It's automatically pitched at C3. If I want to pitch my samples, then this is exactly what I have to do. I have to drag this one down to C2. So now it's pitched an octave below. If I play it, it's an octave below. And then when I drag it into the timeline right here, even though it's mapped out to C3, it's pitched to C4 in Ultra B. So what we're gonna have to do is control everything and move it up an octave. So now the hi-hat's the pitch to C3, but it's mapped out to C4. It's a bit confusing. Hopefully that made some sort of sense. So choose whatever one is easier for you. I like Ultra Beat, but as I said, Alchemy is much easier to use, much faster. This one's a bit more clunky and kind of confusing when it comes to pitching hi-hats. But that brings me on to my next point. My first tip, pitching hi-hats. All right, so I got a loop loaded in there. And I'm just going to be using that loop in the background when I'm doing the hi-hats. So you don't want your hi-hats to be all in the same pitches, it's kind of boring. So you want to just add some variation. Literally just pull some down, switch up the pitches and see what sounds good. And number two, just to switch it up a bit. You don't always want to have a hi-hat at every single beat. Like you might want to take out a hi-hat and just have a gap somewhere. So let me try and figure out where I'm going to put mine. Number three, to spice it up a bit more to improve your hi-hats. We want to add in some rolls, so you can actually just change your select tool to the scissors tool and chop them up how you want to. But now I've actually realised that I prefer using the brush tool and basically if you just do this with your brush tool, it just pencils in the hi-hats for you really easily. You just hold and drag down and you can choose what you want, what size note you want to do it to. So I could do it to like 132 and make it really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that. And I'm even gonna change up some of the pitches as well with the rolls. We 
We can even change this up, adding some triplets. So it's gonna be, this is good for like R and B beats. So far, that's, that's sounding nice. Number four, I think this is number four. We're gonna change up the velocities. So right now, all the hi-hats, they're exactly the same volume, same velocity. So just to give it a different flavor, we're gonna change up, we're gonna randomize the velocities. So by the velocity, it's kind of like changing the volume. If I select one and I make it lower, it makes it a bit quieter. Or if I put it up, it can make it louder. In Logic, the more red it is, the louder it is, and the more green it is, the quieter it is. Another way to do it is to Command A, select everything, go to Functions, MIDI Transform, and randomize the velocity. And you can randomize the velocity to what is shown on the map. These are like all the hi-hats, all different velocities right here. I want to keep it kind of in a smaller range. So let's say 80, 110. And it's going to do it randomly for me. I'll select and operate. This is what we got now. Number five, let's make it slightly off timing. So when we move the hi-hats just off the grid, it's gonna give it a more human effect as if it was played in. It gives it the beat like a nice swing. It's not so robotic exactly where it should be. So I've zoomed in, I hit Command A to control everything. And I'm just gonna, let me zoom in a bit more. Move it to the side just a little bit. So it's slightly off time now. My bonus step, we got one hi-hat in there, but sometimes I like to add two different hi-hats. So we have two different hi-hat sounds playing at the same time and it gives it a nice effect. So I've got another hi-hat loaded in and it sounds like this. It almost sounds like a perk. So I'm just gonna pencil and try and find pockets where it could fit in. So now I've got two hi-hats in there. I can move this down a bit. Pan one to the left and even pan one to the right. So now I hear one more prominently in the left, one more prominently in the right. I might as well go ahead and add some drums to this and hear how it sounds all together. All right, so now I've put some claps, some kicks, a quick 808, just a really quick beat. It's just so we can hear how the hi-hats sound in the beat all together. So this is what we've got now. Now that we've got some variation in the hi-hat, we changed up the pitch, the velocities, all that good stuff. It really gives the beat a nice flavor. But let's say you're doing boom bap, how would you switch up the hi-hats there? The way how you played it in is the most natural, which is perfect for boom bap. As you can see, like they're off center, they're off the grid, they're off timing just a little bit. But you want to go ahead and fix up just some of them a little bit, so it's not like too drastically off time. And as you can see as well, some of the velocities are very high and some are low. But it gives it that authentic human feeling. But yeah, that's everything. Everything you need to know to improve your hi-hats. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it makes your hi-hat patterns a lot better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know if your hi-hats have improved. Also, if you haven't joined the family yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now, join the family. Hit that bell notification so every single time I post a video, you get a note, you won't miss another one. Shout out this person from the last video. And yeah, that's about it for this one. I'll see you in the future.